it's music with mrs brooks again so today you're going to learn how to read rhythms level two and so some of these rhythms we looked at last time and so what will be familiar to you is the ta ta it represents one beat of sound also familiar to you is the rest rest represents one beat of silence so when they were put together ta Ta, ta. Now, sometimes you want to have sounds that are longer than just one beat of noise, ta, or one beat of silence. And so that's where some of these other shapes come in. So this guy here, ta, is when you have a little bit longer of a note, two beats of sound. And similarly, this shape here, it represents two beats of silence. I like to call it two rests inside my head. But remember, rests are silences, so we don't actually see them out, out loud. We just think them in our head. So let's try a couple of these two. Ta, t, ta. And lastly, these shapes represent Four beats of, si of sound, ta, and four beats of silence. And so in my head, I like to say, rest for four beats. But of course, we don't actually say it out loud. It would look like this. Ta, ta. Now, when they're just symbols like this, it doesn't make a ton of sense. So let's try it in context. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this up here so that you can kind of see it while I'm also talking. So what you would do, hmm, let's just adjust this a little bit. There we go. Now you can see both. Is you would look for what the symbol is and then you try and say it. Ta. Ta. Let's go a little bit faster. So look, find the symbols. Oops, I'm blocking you. And then read it out loud. Now this one is a bit tricky because it's got this line up and down. All you need to know is that in music, kind of every four beats usually, they put a line and it's kind of like um, a comma when you're reading a book or like a indent or a space between paragraphs it really is just to break things up for the eyes so you can kind of ignore it so by now you figured out that this one is ta ta all right ta 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 Ta, ta, ta. Now this one is tricky because if you look, it's kind of the same symbol. And in music, we usually talk about them being the same right side up and upside down. But this one, it's different. So when it's like a top hat like this, that's when it's only worth two beats. So it would be a two rest. When it's upside down like this, that is when it's the rest or four beats, the four beat rest. Now, how I like to remember it in my mind is I think, okay, if the top hat is on the head, it's only two beats. But if you stuff the top hat full and it falls over, it's heavier, so it's bigger, so it's longer, so it's four beats. And that's just my crazy way to remember it. So by now, you've had a good chance to look. Let's try it. One, two, together, and ta. Ta, 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 one, two, another one, ta, ti, ti, ta. Now this one I didn't write up on the board, but if you watch my level one video, you'll remember that a ta is one beat of noise, and a ti, ti is two sounds, one beat. So let's try that one again. 
Ta ti ti ta. One, two, ready, and ta. One, two, another one. Ti 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 ta. One, two, together, and ta. One, two, another one. Ta ta ta. Ta ta. One, two, ready, and ta 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 ta. Now, this doesn't kind of make a lot of sense about how it's music when it's just a bunch of cards. So let's talk about what it would look like drumming or playing. So if I had this rhythm drumming, it wouldn't make a lot of sense still because it would be kind of ta, ta, which sounds a lot like ta, rest, ta, rest. But when you start having instruments, the length of the note makes a bit more sense. So on the recorder, if I were to play this sound, you can kind of hear the difference. Whereas if I were to do the same fingering, and by the way, all I was doing was the thumb and back finger, on say maybe this one right here, it sounds different. T, 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 ta. Sounds way different then. And so once you sort of have blowing instruments, it makes sense. Now, why is it ta's and tt's and all these t t t sounds? That's because when you go to playing blowing instruments, the way you start and stop the sound is with the tip of your tongue. Ta, ta, t t ta. You basically do exactly what you were doing with your tongue. For the saying, and it's just like you turn your voice off. So ta ti ti ticka ticka ta, turn my voice off, ready and and so that is how these rhythm symbols are going to translate into the reading music. Now, this doesn't give me much information other than now whether I'm going to make noise or silence. The difference in pitch. has to do with being able to read music pitches. And so there's different clefs. There's the bass clef, there's the percussion clef, and there's the treble clef. I highly suggest you watch my videos on the treble clef code, the bass clef code, um, and the percussion clef code. All those things will make much more sense. So there you have it. That is level two of learning how to read music. I will be coming at you soon with a level three version. Have a great day.